Oh no, mm -mm, this isn't for me. Okay, welcome to the vlog. So I just got my hair done. Um, it is so late. I got to my hair appointment at 5 o'clock, 5.45, and it's 9.30. Like, I'm sick. It just always takes so long to get your hair done. Like, no matter what, it just always takes forever. Um, so I'm going to insert some clips so you guys can see me get my hair done. My wig is from Nadula Hair. Okay. I'm going to insert the footage of me getting my hair done so you guys can see it. You know, they slayed. Alrighty, so here is me in my hat, you know, um, getting ready to get my hair done. Ooh, yeah. So luckily, she washes my hair. It comes with her service. So this is my hair washed and blown out. And wow, now we are corn rode up, okay? She is gonna be brushing my baby hairs back so they don't get in the way, you know, when we put the cap and everything on. Here's in some better lighting, okay? I look, you know, I kinda look cute, you know? Maybe, maybe we'll rock the cornrows. Okay, I'm totally lying. My forehead is way too large for this, okay? So this is my hair, as you guys can see, nice and brushed back. Just some more angles. You know, my lashes look real good. Skin is popping. You know, they look at that real cute angle. Anyways, so now she's putting the cap on, per usual, being super duper gentle. That's one thing I really enjoyed about this install is that she didn't just care about how the wig looked slapped on top of my head. She wanted to make sure that my hair underneath was taken care of, as you guys can tell by my phenomenal braid down. So now she's cutting the cap and we're gonna move on to putting the actual wig on. So like I said, this wig is from Nadula Hair. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Um, I have have a 13 by 4 lace frontal straight wig um, it says it was 20 inches but girl that wig was long okay now do let me give you a little extra inches so you know just keep that in mind this is it on the lace is transparent you guys know that's what I need for my stuff to look natural so it's fitting on my head perfectly um, and I do want to mention that with your wig you do get a lot of gifts from Nadula mine included a hairbrush some hair clips they also gave me wig caps and a scarf and a bonnet so they have a lot of special gifts that they give you. I didn't show you guys in the video because obviously I'm at the hair salon, but like, girl, look at how cute. Yes, okay? Like, it looks so good. I also want to tell you guys that you can use my code Aaliyah's. Um, I'll put it on the screen. You can use that at checkout and you'll get an extra $10 off and you will receive two special gifts. So there's only 50 sets every day, first come, first serve. So... Yeah, I guess they like limit who they give the gifts to, girl, I don't know. But use my code and you can save you some money and get you a couple of little free gifts. It'll be on the screen as well as down below. But yeah, so I'm just gonna let her rock out and do my hair and let you guys watch. I did cut this hair. I got so many questions about where this wig was from, what length it was, but she cut this hair for me, you guys. So when you guys get to that point, you'll see, I think she just used a razor comb, but she did that, so. Shout out to Nadula for this bomb wig and shout out to her for slaying my hair. So I'll just let you guys finish watching and yeah.
my stylist is Brittany B style or Brittany B slays I'll put her Instagram on the screen if anybody is interested she did my hair and she did a great job I love the way it came out um, the only thing I wish my knots were bleached a little better because you can kind of see them a little bit but I know that sometimes these wigs are a little tricky to get the knots completely bleached so but it's glueless you guys like I can take this off like I'm never getting glue on my hair again I don't care so anyways I'm starving uh, I was gonna go and get Korean barbecue and just get it to go but I'm I'm not waiting for it so I'm going to McDonald's y'all know I am a fast food eating girl um, people judge me for that they're like oh pretty girls don't eat fast food I said I guess I'm ugly because I'm a fast food eating ass girl okay so that's where we're headed um, I want to apologize for being so in my well actually you know what no I don't want to apologize I just want to let you know that I was in my a because I just mentally was not in a space to to post like I just wasn't in a space to post I wasn't in a space to film um, and just to be super transparent um, I've been getting a little bit more negativity than I usually do and I'm not gonna sit up here and be like those people who be like I don't give a fuck I, don't. I do but not like, oh, what your comment is making me sad. Not like that. But I, as a person, am very receptive. So, so like, this is going to sound dumb to some people. But, like, when people are giving that negative energy, it's not even that what you're saying is so, like, hurting my feelings or anything like that. It's more so, like, the energy of what you're saying, I'm receiving it that negative energy that you're trying to push onto me i'm receiving it and i could feel myself like do you am i making sense like i could just feel it affecting me and i just didn't like it so um i just had to take a moment away and step back even now i'm still kind of like Ugh, about it but i can't punish you guys and like i love vlogging i like i actually have grown to really like vlogging like i really missed it oh whoa not driving with two feet Aaliyah um I I miss filming like I I enjoy this is something I truly do enjoy doing so what I've been doing lately is just not reading my comments on YouTube and I know that sucks because I like to speak to you guys and talk to you guys but um they've been just getting really like weird and like brutish and you know um what I'm beginning to realize is that I serve a purpose for everybody who comes in contact with me. Whether you like me or not, I'm serving a purpose for you. So I serve a positive purpose for the people who enjoy me or whatever. But for the people who leave like really nasty stuff, it's like I'm their punching bag. You know, because how I look at it is if you if you are in a place where you can comment such nasty things to a stranger that you don't know to try to make them feel bad, you've got to be going through hell that's how i look at it you're something is going on so bad oh my god i cannot wait to eat spicy and sweet what a treat limited time spicy chicken mcnuggets i think i want is spicy chicken mcnuggets and mighty hot sauce and yeah, that'll be it it's for thank you you're welcome um okay so like what i was saying is that how i look at it is I'm serving a purpose for everybody even the people who comment like it's one thing if you don't like me like let's just keep it a book we all talk crap we all be in our group chats Kiki and with our homegirls like hi he's like staring at me we all you get what I'm saying like I'm not mad at anybody for that you get what I'm saying like I think that there's a place for you know to talk your trash or do whatever I think that there's a, a place for that I'm not saying that shouldn't exist we all do it it's natural it does, that's fine but when you come on someone's page and you want to convince them to feel bad about themselves or feel negatively or whatever it's like you are hurting so I'm serving a purpose for that person too and sometimes that sucks you get what I'm saying like I'm very receptive to everything because um believe it or not like a lot of people do this youtube stuff for the sake of the money and they create stuff for entertainment but this is my real life you get what i'm saying like i don't create a narrative for views um that's just not my thing um so i, I do take it personally you get what i'm saying that this is personal so um i'm just kind of you know I'm, i was feeling a little overexposed i guess too that's another aspect is i was just feeling super overexposed um so 
yeah but i feel good now i'm i'm better my mom came and seen me we had like a little spa day i was trying to vlog it but honestly like after vlogging with my sister i was like no i'm not even gonna put my mom nope 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 i'm not gonna do that to myself so um yeah um but yeah look at my hair it looks so good you guys haven't really get, got to see it um this is glueless like i wonder if i can like lift it up so you can see like and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off like i can like <laughs> that probably looked so crazy but i'm like super hype about this like she i told her i was like yo like i'm gonna be coming to you like and then i can take this off and put it back on like and the girl who did the braid down her the, her braider that she uses amazing you guys like my braid down Ugh, I'll probably show you sometime throughout the week because I'm probably going to take this off because I'm probably not going to sleep in this. Um, that's just me. But um, her braider, phenomenal. Most braiders always braid my hair like too tight and it my hair is very fine. Y'all know like my hair will rip out. Um, like my last install, I have a chunk of my edges missing. Um, but when she did it, it was it's great. Like I, I it, she was gentle, but it's so precise. She did really tiny braids. She took her time. Like it took her about an hour to braid my hair. But like you can tell, it took her an hour to braid my hair. It don't look like these doo doo braids. These people be slapping on just cause you're getting a wig on top. You get what I'm saying? And they oiled my scalp. They washed me. Yes, honey. The appointment came with a wash and blow dry. They oiled my scalp. Like hello, like real stylist. Like. People who actually care about your hair. Yeah, the spicy scent with the McDouble and the That's me. I like your Chanel earrings. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Oh, she didn't guess me. She said she liked my earrings. I like them too, girl. I wanted the smaller ones. I'm probably gonna have to go back and see if they get them um, back in. Oh, and I got my lashes filled today. I didn't take you guys with me because I never like filmed while I was doing it and India was doing a class. Like she was showing a girl how to do them as she was in my lashes. So um, yeah, I didn't take you guys in. But if you were wondering who does my lashes, shop Indie Monet, I always tag her. I'll leave her Instagram on the screen or down below as well. So that you guys, if you're interested and you're in the Atlanta area, even if you're not, she be having people come to go get the, come get their lashes done, girl. Like the truth. So yeah, and then hopefully tomorrow we can get our nails done. Because I broke a nail. I actually broke two nails. I broke my toenail. I'm going through it. I've been ugly all week. I've been pretty busted all week. I'm not even going to flex with you guys. Um, so this week is more so just me getting back on track. I'm trying to make myself feel cute. And, you know, just um, uh, like get, get back on with work. Because you guys, like for me not posting, I wasn't filming. I wasn't doing anything. I'm so so behind on work like so behind on work wow there are so many like lights right now so i have to you know get that caught up i also had some bad family news last week too that just really rocked my brain there's just a lot going on but <sighs> what can you do so i'm just gonna get this food and head home and eat and then we will pick back up the vlog tomorrow hey guys so it's the next day um it's wednesday sorry i'm out of breath i just came up the stairs <laughs> it is it's 1 so it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon i've been cleaning all morning because i never unpacked from vacation if you you know how that is y'all so um i've cleaned my whole house except for a few things and um i believe i told you guys my desk came in so here it is <laughs> so i want to put this together so that i can clear out this area that is my office get all of this situated up here and then um all my makeup i still have not unpacked my makeup so i kind of want to try to do that that way um it can just it can I can put it up and then I can like really clean out my filming room well not clean out but organize it because the makeup is everywhere so yeah I'm gonna put this desk together I got on some t-shirt and some sweats baggy life okay it's finally like 
fake fall <laughs> so i'm taking advantage so anywho let's um get this thing put together so oh and you guys can see my hair naturally i did sleep with it on last night so the curls aren't as pretty and like fluffy as when she did them but it's still cute so and uh, my lashes are super duper thick but i just got them really really thick that way i don't have to go back <laughs> so soon and you guys my allergic reactions you guys know how my eyes would like flare up so bad for my lashes they don't happen anymore so i don't know if i just needed to like i don't know but it didn't happen this time they were don't get me wrong they were like a little itchy but like y'all know my eyes used to like swell up and be red and puffy and i didn't put no cortisone i didn't take any benadryl i didn't do anything and they're just fine so Maybe I got over it. I don't know. But anyway, so let's put this together. I got this desk from West Elm, I believe. It was very expensive. I mean, well, I don't know what y'all consider expensive, but this desk was like $800, and I feel like that's expensive for a freaking desk. But I really like it, and it goes with, like, the tones that I'm going for in here. Like, I got this really cute, like, brown chair, the desk with the brassy gold. It's, like gold but it's not like yellowy gold it's like a brownish gold you know like a brassy and then i had this painting made by a life of clarity i'm gonna tag her she read my tarot cards and everything i was telling you guys about it this whole junk girl so let's just get this together
he's all done. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So that's a good thing, but yeah. Hey, Rosanna. Y'all, it was so heavy. I don't know if y'all could see me struggling to flip it, but it was so heavy, but whew, okay. Yeah, that was enough exercise for me for the day. Ooh, chat. And I'm just kidding. So yeah, it's nice and deep. It's so much bigger than my other one. I actually really like how big it is, but it's a little like longer than I thought it was gonna be for this space. So I'm trying to think if I'm still gonna do my office the way I envisioned. So um, yeah, but now I'm just gonna move everything from this desk to this one, move that table back downstairs because it does not belong up here. And yeah. So how I wanted to do this office space, let me kind of give you guys a vision. So I was gonna put the, the, the desk up against the wall, like how I've got this one, but it really like closes off the space. So I wanted to treat this as if it had a door. So if you look over there, that's my stairwell and stuff. So this is just kind of like a nook. Like, let me show you guys like a dip off space it's not really so like down the hall and stuff is other rooms but so when you come up here you see what i'm saying it's like a dip so this isn't actually like a room oh that's gonna look nice okay yeah i'm definitely gonna do it how i was picturing it so what i plan to do is Put the desk in the middle. Yes, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, so the desk is gonna go in the middle of the floor, kind of like where it's at, but you know, like better. And then in the back, I'm going to get some bookshelves. Hopefully that can go all the way up. That are, and just with decor. And then I'm gonna have a big mirror over in this corner. Um, and then I have a different plant coming in. I'm not gonna do the green plant. Um, I'm gonna do some like dried plants. And then this rolling rack is just here from when I did my try and haul. I don't know if I'm gonna like spray paint it and keep it in here or what I'm gonna do with that. But yeah, I really like this in the middle of the floor now that I can like see it. So I'm gonna move everything over and yeah. Good morning, it is the next day. It is Thursday, it's 11 a.m. I've been up for a while. I've been doing laundry. <laughs> These are my temp sheets while my, um, Real comforter is in the washing machine. I look crazy. Um, so today should be a fun day. So I am going to film a video. I wanted to get my nails done today, but I think I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. I actually need to call and make an appointment and I think I'm just gonna get my nails done tomorrow. But I found out there's a restoration hardware outlet here. Well, it's like, sorry y'all, I have like a lot of like mucus in my throat. I'm kind of sick. Um, not like, no, no Rona. <laughs> And just a little head cold, if you will. Not even. I'm just congested. But, um, so there's a restoration hardware outlet about 45 minutes from here. So we're going, okay? Because there's this bed that I want, but I just really don't want to spend how much it is on it. So I'm going to try to see if I can find it for the low low at the outlet. So. I'm gonna get ready for my video, and so I'm gonna get ready and film um, the try on haul video that I need to film, and then we will catch up after that. So. All right, you guys, so it is later in the afternoon. It is, hmm, what time is it? <laughs> Hello, what? Why is my phone not telling me what time it is? 2 15. Um, so I'm getting gas because I didn't have any. Um, and we're about to drive really far an hour to this restoration hardware outlet. So we're going to drive out there and see if they have anything. Fingers crossed we find a bed. <laughs> Your girl needs a new bed. And I think I'm just going to get a new mattress too. Like my back has just been killing me. Okay. So dang, why do my lips look so like pale on camera? They're like hella pink in person. Okay. Um. Damn, how, my, I wasn't even on E. Oh no, gas is too expensive. I'm already at $53. Oh no, mm -mm, this isn't for me. I'm still going fat. There we, I was, oh, hold on. You, why are you all the way over there if you're turning right? Like people do dumb stuff, yo. Okay, I'm finna jump in front of this person cause. You're stupid, you're so stupid. Go! Oh my God, are you, okay. Like, what What are you doing? Dummy. Y'all, people are really dumb. Like, 
dumb as dumb gets or maybe they're scared to drive that could be it too but anywho so yep i'm gonna head out there and then um i will pull the camera out when we get there hopefully like no one acts funny about me vlogging because i really want to show you guys like what they have out there at the outlet in case you know you have one near you and you're trying to figure out if it's worth it or i don't know maybe you're like me and it's an hour away and no one's ever been that you know so you have to figure it out yourself <laughs> in the rain i don't know why i chose today to go because it's like storming but i don't have anything else i mean i did have other things to do today but i would i much rather would want to do this because if they don't have any beds online i mean in the outlet then i'm just gonna order the bed that i want online so i need and i want to get this started you get what i'm saying so anywho i will talk to y'all when we get there so i can focus on the road Alrighty, so I've made it. It's still raining, but that's okay. Um, I'm excited. Fingers crossed that we find some stuff, you guys. Specifically, a bed. But I'll settle for a couch, too. <laughs> okay, so I can go ahead and tell you guys now. Oh, oh, I do see a bed, but I think it's a queen. Oh, yeah. And it's leather. I don't really want. Yeah, it's not really the vibe I was going for. Now I do like this dark wood bed because my, you guys know all the wood in my house is like this dark brown gray wood. But I really wanted to go lighter. Ugh, I don't know, but I like this. Mm. Oh girl, I don't know. Let me come over here and look somewhere. They don't really have a lot of beds, but they have tons of like nightstand, dressers, all of that. So you might find something. Um, I mean, I came kind of specifically for beds, but I mean, I'm kind of open okay. to like everything. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, is this kind of most of the bedding? Yeah, all of our time? bedroom stuff's gonna be on this kind of right side. Mm -hmm. uh, the back is all patio. And then okay. The left over there is dining room. Awesome. And then okay. yeah, around the outside, we'll have like living rooms kind of set up. But uh, yeah, all of your bedding stuff. Too. Awesome. Now, and as far as sizing and stuff goes, so what's out on the floor is what you have? Yeah, we don't have, we sometimes might have some stuff in the back, but mm -hmm. uh, right now we don't. Just gotcha. because we got a truck today, but there's only like 30, 40 pieces, so it's awesome. Small. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Of course, yeah. I'll be walking around if you have any questions. Thank you so much. So this bed specifically, I was literally looking at, this bed is like eight grand, you guys. Like this is an expensive bed, let me see. Yeah, so it's 9,000, but they have it for 4,000, but I'm pretty sure this is like a queen or a twin. Like this is a small one, but if this, I'm telling y'all, if this isn't a king, I would be buying it. Damn. And it's also not in the fabric color that I wanted, but I would really get over it. Like I really would have. So, let's see. Does Mia do all of that? Oh, mirrors. Oh, and I think we found one that I want. Wait. Gold. Oh. Oh. Jackpot. Jackpot and Nelly. <laughs> okay. So I love this big old gold mirror back here. And it is on sale for $800. <gasps> Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, I want that. I want this gold mirror right now. So I'm gonna buy that. I wonder if they do shipping. What about this one though? Oh, but I like this brassy gold more. Oh, but this one's 1400. I'm not paying that much. I'll pay eight though for this mirror. It's huge. It is literally gigantic. Yeah, love that, okay. So, yeah, um, quick question. If if I'm interested in this, 
Yeah, do you guys do delivery or is so, this pickup only? So we don't do delivery directly from the outlet. We okay. We don't have a delivery division. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. work with a, a third party carrier. Oh, okay, okay. Spawning. Awesome. Uh, anything metro area is usually about 125 to 150. Okay, cool. Pricing wise for your first piece and then mm -hmm. $10 for each additional piece after that. Okay, cool, cool. So I definitely want to get this large okay. gold mirror now. Um, usually everything has like something kind of like a defect, the most part, right? There's usually, there's usually, that's why it ends up with the Yeah. Uh, I see one kind of pink. Yeah, I was going to say, I kind of see a little corners. down there. Okay, so that's yeah. fine. I just wanted to make sure the mirror wasn't yeah, broken. Yeah, we just moved it over here. It okay, cool. Awesome. So yeah, I definitely want to get this. Okay. And then um, I'll just keep peeking around. Yeah, awesome. What's your name? Aaliyah. And yours? Jason. Got you. Thank you. Oh, we got a mirror. Okay. I like this lamp, but I think it might be a little too large for my nightstands. I haven't gotten the nightstands yet, but whatever ones I do, I feel like that might be a little too big. Oh, I'm so excited for that mirror. Now I just don't know where I'm going to put it. Oh, actually, are these the same lamp for here? Hmm. No, I'm not gonna pay $500 for lamps. I'm just not, I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> so I just pulled my nose out. My nose was in when I was inside. Um, okay, so not a complete, you know, waste. I did find that mirror that I really, really liked and I got it $1,000 off. It is gigantic. It is five and a half feet wide by seven and a half feet tall. Ah! girl like that is going to be the perfect like mirror you know what i mean so i got it for 800 and then they do delivery for 100 and then um every additional item you get delivered is only 10 bucks so i'm like i wish i would have found some other stuff but unfortunately i didn't but he told me i can call them and they can let me know when they get stuff so with that being said, I'm just gonna have to order the bed that I want because I can't keep waiting. Like I want my bed. So yeah, so it was an okay trip. Breakfast is served. I'll have this mug linked down below because I know you guys are gonna ask. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I've just been editing all morning, trying to get back on track with work and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast and then we're gonna get ready to go to the farmer's market. I'm super excited. Um, we're also gonna do some grocery shopping, not just the farmer's market, but we're gonna start there. So y'all yeah. know I've been complaining about being in like not the best mood and stuff or like the best headspace and one of my toxic traits <laughs> toxic to myself the bad habit that I have is that I spend money when I'm sad <laughs> and that's what we're about to go do okay and I promised myself though like this is the last time I'm doing this because I'm so bad like you guys if I get in a bad mood wow th these roads are really bad I'm gonna take my glasses off so you can see me. I look, uh, today I'm getting cute though. Tonight, my friend Kayla, she was like, girl, like, come on, let's go to dinner. Cause I haven't been going anywhere. Like, I'm like, no, like I'm not in the mood. I don't feel good. Like, uh, uh, and she was like, bitch, we're going to this new place. Wow, my battery is dying. Is this a joke? <sighs> All right, you guys, so I made it back home. Unfortunately, you know, my camera died, so I didn't get to take you with me, but honestly, it would have been hard for me to have vlogged at the um, farmer's market anyways. And I ran in and out of Linux so fast, I did end up getting a bag. Um, I don't think I'm gonna show it on camera because when I do the unboxings, I kind of get a, a little bit of negative comments. 
and I've been doing this thing where I'm trying not to do that so I can read my comments. So I would just rather not include things that I see consistently make people upset. So I'm not gonna include that in here. Um, but from the farmer's market, I got so much produce, you guys, and it was so cheap. I literally spent maybe $20. So I'm currently washing um, my strawberries, tomatoes, apples, mint, lemons and limes i think that's all that's in here um so I'll show it to you guys so i just have it in the sink um i'm just using water and vinegar you can use i mean whatever i guess it's just what i've always been told to use and you can see everything you can see it in the water like everything coming off of it i also got some almonds oh my mom is calling me hold on hello i also got some almonds Almonds are my favorite nuts. I got some red potatoes because I really like to make this like breakfast skillet with these. And I haven't made it in a while, so I made sure to get some red potatoes. I also just really like red potatoes. And then I got this gigantic bag of spinach. <laughs> and then I got some onions and some avocados. Now these avocados are super duper 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 not ripe. So I'm gonna have to give them a lot of time, but that's okay because I have some in my fridge currently that are good so i'm just letting everything hang out but i want to show you guys some stuff that i got for in the kitchen starting with these cute cups they're just these clear cups i decided that i want to start doing like detox waters again so that's why i got a lot of like the strawberries the lemons the limes and the mint that's all gonna go in my water i'm not a huge like strawberry eater i will link i got these from amazon so i'll link them down below i put them in my dishwasher um to clean them before i use them so i got i think i got two packs maybe one pack i don't remember but i got a lot so you guys know i've always complained that i'm super lazy um now that i have stairs in my house um i hate having to come down here and fill up my water i mean even even when i didn't have stairs filling up my water bottles was just so, like refilling my water bottle is just so annoying so i bought a bunch of these and i'm just gonna pre-fill them with detox water i don't really think it makes a difference putting fruit in the water it's just gonna be pretty it's just for the aesthetic i'm not even gonna front with you i don't really think it the i mean i like the way the lemon lime and mint tastes in water but like i don't think it has like major health benefits i really really don't but i think it'll make me want to drink my water more one two three four Okay, cool. And they came with tops and straws. Like I said, I will link that down below for you guys. And then I also want to convert my fridge into like an open fridge layout. So I don't know if you guys have seen people, you guys know I don't really eat a lot of fruits and veggies like that, mainly because on my weight loss, on my, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> on my weight loss journey, it just wasn't, People think fruits and vegetables are so healthy, so healthy, you need fruits and vegetables, but like not really. It's a lot of carbs. Um, so I was a huge like meat and like meat eater. I had to do a lot of protein and like potatoes and, and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? And like rice. So um, I wanna kind of switch more and get more veggies in because now I'm no longer trying to lose weight. Like I'm over trying to keep losing weight to perfect little things. And I'm just gonna start bulking. Like I kind of want to gain, <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I want to gain a few pounds, but muscle. So I have to get my eating back on track, but I'm able to eat a lot more. So before I was eating maybe like 12 to 1400 calories a day. Now, Girl, I'm gonna be eating like 18. I'm so excited. So I can fill that in with like fruits and veggies and things like that. I'm not a huge fruit eater though, but we'll see. I like vegetables though, like a lot. So I need to like clean out my fridge. I mean, there's nothing really in it. <laughs> um, literally nothing in it, but yeah. So I got these things on Amazon. Oh wait, before I show you that, let me show you my new knife set. Oh, okay, so I finally got a new knife set. So you guys know I had a knife set very similar to this with the clear casing, but it only had like five knives. And that really bothered me because I didn't have any steak knives. So I ordered this one on Amazon. It was really inexpensive. I picked this one because the reviews were really good and it came with the clear, like this type of setup. I don't like the wood block. Like, I don't know, it's just so 
old school in my opinion and this is just so much more modern and sleek and it looks nice sitting on your countertops so it came with one two three four five six steak knives and then you have two paring knives a bread knife and then you know your big boys and then a sharpener and a pair of scissors so yeah i got this new knife set again i'll link that down below for you guys too super duper excited about that i'm ready to start cooking again <laughs> i went to the farmer's market but i still have to go to the actual grocery store um because i need to get like some meats and like little basics too so let me show you guys what i got from amazon though <laughs> Delivered today. I'm still waiting on one more thing to deliver, but this is a good start, especially since I'm doing my detox waters and stuff today. So, yeah. Now, the reviews for these, what I'm about to show you guys, were really good, except they said do not dry them in the dryer because they will melt. So, just a heads up for anyone. <laughs> So I got these, like I said, I'm gonna do the open container thing in the kitchen or in the refrigerator. So I've been buying these plastic or acrylic containers, like produce containers with the vents so that your produce lasts longer. So um, this is, you can use this literally for anything. I looked it up and apparently it's actually really good to keep your produce just like out in the open in your fridge. So, you know, I said, great, I wanna live that life. So yeah, I got these four big ones and then I also got some smaller ones that haven't delivered yet. But super duper excited about these. So I'm gonna give these a quick rinse. I'll also link these down below in case anyone is interested in these. Um, please keep in mind, anything linked is probably an affiliate link. So if you do not want me to get paid, do your Googles so that you can find it on your own because Oh, excuse me. If you click that link, even if you don't buy it today, but you go back to that website at any point in time, it is still going to give me money. And if you do not want me to get paid, don't click the link at all. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm so out of breath, you guys don't judge me. Let me just clear out some space. I do not need this heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna move my liquors. Oh, I guess I'm not. Ah! <laughs> okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put my liquors, but I need to move them somewhere. Yeah, we're just gonna do like a complete refrigerator remodel. I also have like a little butter container and an egg one. Like look, I've been had this butter thing though. I just don't use butter. But when that chef came and cooked, she used butter and she let me keep the butter. So now I have butter. I don't use butter when I cook. Do you guys hear my fridge beeping at me? Okay, cool. So I'll put that in there. Oh, so fancy. Stuff up here that is so good. I have my eggs. I only have two eggs left. Actually, are these even good anymore? Um, not me smelling the egg. Like, what is it? What? What does the rotten egg smell like? I'm just gonna put that in here, anyway. Just for the sake of the aesthetic. Okay. Boom. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean these off and then get to chopping our veggies and stuff to put into our detox cups. I'm really, really, really excited about this little project. Um, and I'm hoping I can keep up with it so that I can always have, you know, fresh, like infused water. And you can use any kind of fruits and veggies that you like. I really like like lemon, lime, mint, like ginger. That's kind of like my thing. Um, but if you like like sweeter stuff, you can do, I mean, I have strawberries too. I'm gonna put strawberries in there, but you can do, oranges limes kiwis you can do whatever you want to know what i just realized i was looking at this mint right and i was like this looks like freaking basil i smelled it i said this smells like basil i finally bit a piece this is basil this is not mint so i will not be putting this in my water although honestly basil in your water ain't bad now that i think about it I could still use it in there, but I'll probably just cook with it. I love basil, so it's not like a big deal, but I wanted mint. <laughs> I understand why she thought they were the same, but like mint has more like a jiggity. Like mint is like this, but like deeper. You see what I'm saying? Like these little lines, it's like deeper than that though. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna start cutting up the veggies. I mean the fruits and the veggies, all that, and getting it into the cups.
Got all of the cups um, filled with the fruits and vegetables. So now I'm just gonna fill them all up with water for my fridge. So I'm just gonna put the lid on all of them and then get them in the fridge. And then of course, I'm gonna keep one out for me to drink now. <laughs> Okay, so there are all of our waters and nice and lined up. So all that I have to do is grab a water out of the fridge and then grab its straw from right here or any of my bajillion other straws. So super happy with the way that this turned out. Hopefully it tastes just as good as they look. So we will find out tomorrow. Well, you guys will find out in the next vlog, but yeah. So actually, since this vlog isn't gonna go up until Tuesday, I will vlog tomorrow. <laughs> so you guys will find out tomorrow. <laughs> Ready, so I'm gonna unveil what we've got so far to you guys. So it, I actually think it looks really nice. It's just this little bit. So we've got the eggs up top, the strawberries and apples and spinach. Um, for the spinach, um, because I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of questions, I like to pre-wash my spinach in the in the sink, and then I just use a salad spinner to get all the water out, and then yeah. So. Usually I just put it back in the spinach bag, but this is so much cuter. So then I have the waters and then the lemons and limes and then the tomatoes and the basil. So I'm trying to think of what other like veggies I like to have. Like fruits and veggies. Like I said, I'm not a big fruit veggie girl. So I think I'm going to get some cucumbers, squash, um, zucchini. Um... <laughs> And some stuff and then just kind of fill in the rest and then i'll be keeping like any kind of dairy so like um there's cheeses in here i have some bell peppers from the last time i made these these actually i need to get some bell peppers and put them in here and then i have some avocados that i've already cut up um and honestly these can go in a container do i have another one one two three four no so i'm waiting on some containers and then i'll put my avocados in one of those and then my meats that are open will go in here i freeze my meat i don't know about you guys so in my freezer i have some chicken breast from the 17th of august but i mean it's still good it's just frozen so i can still use it but i always put dates i'm pretty sure i think you can keep meat for three months frozen so I have that. I have some skirt steak still. Again, all this is from August. Some ground turkey. So, and I always split mine up in about the amount that I would use so that I don't have to throw away anything or waste anything. So yeah, I really like the way that the fridge is coming along. I still need to like clean out this stuff because I just have like a lot of condiments and stuff that I just buy randomly and it's just not appealing to the eye. Like I'm looking at this, I'm like, wow, that's so ugly compared to this. But what can you do? I don't think I'm gonna like buy stuff and repackage it like every single time. Like that just seems really tedious, but anywho. So that is the fridge for now. I'm about to go take a nap. Um, until about five o'clock and then I'm gonna start getting ready for dinner I need to get ready early because I want to take a picture So I've been on Instagram. So like, let me take a picture So with that being said I will catch Excuse me. My um, hangers came in the mail. Let me show them to you guys really quick Just so you can see so You guys know I had black velvet hangers in my old place or maybe you didn't know so oh my god I just poured that water all over the counter. Hold on so maybe you guys did or you didn't know, but in my old place, when I redid my closet, I used black velvet hangers. Because you guys know my room was like all black and white and stuff like that. So they don't really go. I just don't like them. And I'm over the velvet hanger. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling it. So let me show you guys what I got. 
um, these hangers. They are metal hangers, and I know you're probably like, ew, a metal hanger, and I know, right? But they're cute metal hangers. So I got them in gold, which I don't really know yet if I wanna keep them in gold because the hardware in my closet is silver. I was looking on like Naked Wardrobe and a bunch of other people who use like silver rolling racks, and they had gold hangers, and it didn't clash. It looked really classy and cute. So this is what they look like. And they do have divots on the sides so that your dresses or shirts or whatever, you know, won't slide off, hopefully, because this is a metal hanger. Going from velvet to metal is gonna be interesting. Again, I'll link these down below as well. Let me pop this off really quick so we can at least kind of see them better. Yeah, they're really cute. Oh yeah. Oh, and they're sturdy. They're not like, I mean, but I can't see. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. Yeah. So excited about these. I ordered five packs, I think, because I also ran out of hangers. That's what made me buy new hangers is because I did, was doing my laundry and I got a bunch of new stuff because I've been doing some hauls and stuff for you guys. And I was like, damn, I have no hangers. Like I literally went through everything. I was like, I have literally no hangers. So I was like, I'm not gonna buy more of these black ones. So I just bought a bunch of these gold ones. So hopefully that's enough because they weren't cheap. But yeah, also, if you guys have anywhere you'd like to see me do a haul from or anywhere that you think has just like really nice clothes, please let me know. I'm trying to go for more nicer quality. If you guys don't mind, like, like I mean, Zara is fast fashion, but you know, like Zara, JLux label, like Revolve, like that kind of vibe, if you get what I'm saying. So let me know if you know anywhere. All right, you guys, so I did my makeup. Um, I didn't really do my hair. I was gonna wear it in a bun, um, but that was with a specific outfit, and then I changed my outfit. So let me show you guys my outfit. I can do it in my bathroom. It took me forever to find an outfit because, like I said, I just haven't been in the best mood today. So trying to find an uh, outfit when I'm like not happy, ooh, girl. So let me show you guys. I'm just wearing, oh, I got lint on it. I don't know if you guys can really see, but I'm just wearing this black jumpsuit. It's like a, a one piece, and uh, but it's like a stops here. I feel like my camera is like foggy or something. Maybe I'm tripping. And then I just have this top tied over it because it's kind of cool outside. Like, I don't know. It's definitely giving kind of like fall vibes. So, and then I just have this necklace on. I have these um, earrings with these little pearls. Uh, I have this my bracelet, my diamond bracelet, and this like Chanel cuff thing. And then um, for my bag, I'm gonna carry my black and white YSL bag, and then I'm gonna be wearing my Jimmy Choo shoes. So I'll show you guys those. This is the bag I'm gonna carry, my little YSL. And then for my shoes, I'm gonna be wearing these Jimmy Choo's that I want you, and yeah. That's it. So me and Kayla are having dinner at nine o'clock. It's about 8.30, so I'm gonna be getting ready to leave soon. I'm waiting for her to text me to tell me she left because she lives farther than me, so yep. Everybody say hey to Kayla. <laughs> Show us what you got for us. So this is- We have the new tips. All the bitches need to hop out with the new hookah tips. Look at how cute y'all. Wow. So this is for oh, my lovely Aaliyah. Yeah, let me put it on right now. Um, Blanco. Blanco. So cute. Aaliyah. <laughs> I want to put it in my one at home. So I got some salmon. Kayla got wings. My favorite. Yeah. <laughs> 